Joe, let's talk about uh, some news. Oh, you want to do toy a news, news? Even. I think so. Okay, we got some. Yeah. We got, some I got. I mean, we got a lot of toy news. We got some good news. I was thinking. Um, <laughs> we were joking about putting it. What's up, Mr. Wonderful? Thanks, man. Water. Uh, saying playable, and it just came to my head that there's that line in Transformers when Cup is like, and now the news, don't touch that dial. And I was like, oh, I love that. I should, <laughs> <laughs> we need to, maybe we need to update that new video. Yeah, maybe. Um, I'm pretty sure you, uh, you just had to put some money in the jar there, Joe. Did I? Yeah, I'm pretty what sure that was. Yeah. You said the S word. No. Or as the boys would call it, the T word, because they don't understand. Um, <laughs> all right, man. So, I was uh, Saturday or Sunday. I can't remember which one. I like randomly got into YouTube. And I started scrolling around and mm-hmm. then I saw like three channels were like, hey, this, this, this. Then I went to IG. It was like this new line. I was like, what is yeah. this, man? I instantly just started sending to Joe and we we're both like, let's talk about that. So we're pretty excited. Yeah. So that. I pulled up. So this is what it's called. It's called Meta Travelers. And the line specifically that they're starting mm-hmm. their Kickstarter off with is uh, Legendary, by the way, not Terry. Well, I'm well, not I mean, tolerance. So yeah. <laughs> it's legend, Dari. Yeah. Um, yeah, it looks cool. So starting off the line, you've got <laughs> all these guys. Thanks, Adam. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> Kirby the Frog here with Legend Dari. <laughs> Top of the news, Kirby the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Um, um, yeah, so these are the 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 top is like the legendary uh, the legendary wave one, I suppose. Mm-hmm. But they said there's going to be 15 figures, so there's obviously right. no pictures for everything. And then the, the bottoms of the stretch goals, and they don't even have stretch goal characters completed yet. But uh, and this is a closer look at the the line of figures you can choose from. Although one, two, three of those are stretch goal figures, mm-hmm. or maybe four. And the, and these are uh, seven inch figure or six inch figures, right? Yeah, so here's the yeah. scale. So it's a seven inch figure. There's there. a breakdown of articulation there. Uh, I'm not like, I actually kind of like hinge joints hey, and a lot of funny. elbows and knees. I'm not mm-hmm. not huge ball joint guy for the knees and elbows, but like it looks like they have it broken down in a way that's going to work really well. So I don't, you right. know, I could not go uh, loosey goosey. I'll, I'll stand corrected when that comes to pass, you know, kind of thing. But, <laughs> um, it, yeah. And here's a little breakdown for scale with the uh, with other you know obviously this was good yeah yeah this was good okay with. so pirates yes boo but check out the figures in here because these are definitely no 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 they're not the wrong scale because you don't have to make these human size these can be big for your like look at that center guy man there's no way you can have that guy be a yeah, big ice guy, guy. Yeah. yeah absolutely man a lot of them are monster looking dudes like you know that that could be a you can have a tall Tall demon skeleton faced dude. Yeah, hundred percent, man. These are space gods. All right, so um, yeah, um, but they look cool. I think they look great in terms of like animal warriors of the kingdom size scale with mythic legions. Yeah. You yeah, know yeah. that kind of thing. Obviously, seven inch Motu uh, revelations or whatever you want to call it, masterverse. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It works with that. What? Hey, let me ask. Let me ask everybody a question to you. So, and, and this includes Joe. Why the indie lines are going to the six inch, seven inch scale? We uh, see some four inch scales come out. Like we just saw Delta 17. What, why is that trend continuing there? Like we have conspiracy theories about why big companies do six inch or seven inch scale, but why are indie lines also doing that scale, do you think? Hmm. That's an excellent question. I think it's because that's what's popular. And like that's what's gonna get their line, their Kickstarter kickstarted. You know what I mean? So For the most they're part. They're following they, their trend. They're chasing like, yeah, the trend. Yeah, I I mean people like Delta Seventeen that are one fully funding it themselves, which is insane, and then two, I mean he kind of mentioned it in our after show, so uh, peek behind the curtains, he might make vehicles, you know, and stuff like that. So like that's amazing. Like if a Thank you very much. If Thank a you line very much. like that starts making vehicles and maybe play sets, you never yeah. know. But like that would be amazing if we chasing had some the old trends. School. Yeah, so that's where yeah. we're yeah chasing the trend. Yeah, but with seven and... inch, six inch figures, you're never gonna have a I mean, not never have a vehicle, but, you know, they're going to be gigantic. Only so, so many people are going to buy them, you know, kind of thing, or yeah. have the space for them. Yeah. So that's an interesting, in terms of world building, it is kind of, I don't know. I wouldn't, I would choose not to go that way. I would probably go four inch like Marauders mm-hmm. and kind of like do an updated GI Joe with like vehicles and stuff to go along with it. But, yep. you know, 
Uh, um, to be so outer multi finish. Do you mean to be honest? There's more lines that do four inch than don't, or do six inch and don't? Uh, which uh, which one there? And then, um, like Joe said, it's popular. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. also, do you think larger profit? So I don't think so because a lot of uh, like Delta Seventeen, for example, is twenty five dollars a figure. They seem to be about the same price, and for what we've been told. As far as making one from like a mold or plastic. Uh, Delta 17 or any of the O-ring lines, though, they're going to be a little bit of a false like equivalent because it's cheaper for that tooling and molding. Uh, like, okay, not, fair enough. It's not going to be as, as like a Marauder's tooling probably costs way more than Delta 17. Okay, so fair enough. But but from In other Kickstarters like, or indie companies yeah. to talk to, they usually just like, man, six inch, four inch, it really doesn't make a big difference as far as producing the materials or cost up front. So, um, yeah, and then okay, so six inch is what you meant. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I feel like six inch gets a bigger profit margin because you can charge more for a six inch because it's a bigger toy. But in the same, but in reality, they're they're kind of, you know, theoretically, or at least I've heard that their costs in terms of tooling are about stuff the same. Like up yeah, front yeah. is about okay. the same as a four inch figure. Yeah. So it's sort of like why not do six inch because you're getting more bang for your buck when you finally give it to the person buying it. You know, yeah. Kind of okay. All um, right. Fair enough. Know. Okay. Who knows if that's the actual reason, but I'm sure there's. Oh, just wanted to throw out there, see whatever the, wherever yeah. else said too. And Stephen, you may be very wrong. Uh, you need to continue watching this because there are in fact sci-fi. So let's go ahead and take a look at some more of the characters. Yeah, it's like they well they're self so self described as sci-fi fantasy. So it's yeah. it's kind of a mix of both, yep. like kind of like He-Man, like a mix yeah. of both. But this is uh the first. This is one of the first characters, Meld Master. Uh, he's come like so. There's different obviously tiers you can get on Kickstarter. One was one of the cheapest ones was just like Ooh. you buy you get one figure you know or get three yeah. figures kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but you get to choose. So at the end of the Kickstarter, you're allowed to like pick and choose which one you want. You know, they're not going to be like, well, you only got you got the one figure, so here's the blue guy. You know, or whatever. You know, they're going right. to be like, right, 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 right. You know, you can pick whatever one you want if it if it funds. I've also heard they said something like on social media already that's like we fully expect this to fund. It's like yeah. skyrocketing already. Yeah. Steven, we're going to have to report you for texting while driving. Yeah, it's a hands better voice state. text, Steven. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. So this guy has a very Mortal Kombat kind of feel to him. Yeah, the lava chest and the yeah, firepower the, and the, the scorpion mask. The, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so also, um, the technology and, braids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not. Hey, what's up, Jeremy? Thanks for jumping in, buddy. You're not late. Anytime you catch is great. Um, yeah, wish it was three seven five. I know, but. But like somebody pointed out earlier, um, who said the celestial comment? I thought that was really cool. Yeah, here we go. So Bob was like, hey, these can be celestials for my 118th world. Like, absolutely. This guy yeah, there's one so in much. particular that's granted it's a, a stretch goal. But man, he would be like, you yeah. could just put him up on high on a stand and just be like, this is our God. <laughs> you know, like he's he's pretty. Yes. Yeah. Pretty yeah, crazy yeah. Looking. This guy looks awesome. Um, but you know me and the rogue types. Pass, pass. Voidwalk. So the names are really cool. Also, um, these are affiliated with Four Horsemen for sculpting. I, I'm not really clear on who does what behind the scenes there, but they did uh, give a nod to them. Yeah, they said um, obviously they, they treated them as partners on the website. I was browsing right. through it, yeah, yeah. so I, I don't know how much actual sculpting right. they did. Maybe they consulted, or maybe they helped in some way. Right. I don't, or maybe they sculpted it. I don't know. You know, well, because the I didn't armies, look that armies far of anyway. Ashmore, like for example, defenders of Eden, he paid for horsemen to be like, hey, go sculpt these, and then you know that's that's <laughs> yeah. you know so it could be that relationship too. But again, I don't I don't really know. They are on Instagram. Go check them out as well. They've been posting a lot there. Oh yeah, links to their Kickstarter and their website are below for you, you guys who want to check it out um, um okay so i'm not so i like the ice guy this guy feels very fortnite to me um he's fortnite -y. he looks like space yeah. wolverine to me yeah yeah there you go space wolverine in space <laughs> cyberus kane yeah but it, also what's not uh, apparent here is these are all cloth goods as well so um like uh sir dork was looking at it and they were doing like demos and they actually like move the cloth around and like that means like the 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 waist and like the skirts and stuff and anything that's over there that's all of yeah uh, there's uh that's this that's next really figure cool. again in the in the renders it looks like it's a plastic cape but it's obviously cloth and it looks yeah you know, oh that wild. guy i have not seen that guy that guy yeah he really looks awesome cool. Yes, it is a gold. Everyone refers back to the 90s and Toys R Us, which is like overpacked with shelves. But I was like, 
was that that great then? I would say now, like, look at this guy, man. This is incredible. There's some 90s Toys R Us days where I'd go in and be like, this is a toy, full, to toy store full of stuff I don't want. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just be like, where are the G.I. Joes? Um, um, yeah. Yeah. Look at all. The so I, I don't like all the hands. I, that is like my I, big I'm not a big thing. hands guy. <laughs> Like I get, I'm glad that there's variety so I can pick the pair that I want. But after I plug in the hands, for the most part, I'm kind of done. Like I'm just like done. Yep. Ah, there, yeah. There's a drawer full of hands. Destiny. <laughs> there's a lot that's of hands with these guys. Yes, very much Destiny vibes. Uh, ah, yeah. Destiny. I, that's it. Yeah. I I actually have a few of those like Mega Block figures because they were so incredible. I was like, I couldn't pass this up. So, um. Lionel Playworld. Before World. Toys R Us, we had Lionel Playworld. I do remember that. Yeah. Huh, I do not. Um, okay, who else we got? Here? For me, it was they were simultaneous. It was kind of like Kmart Target. Like it was just like the different Walmart Target. You know, it's the different store. Mm. You know, mm. before and KB mm. was the one in the malls, but those were rare back. I don't. I think Lionel Play World was long gone by KB oh. Toy Store times. Extra hand for photography. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah, and 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 a lot of uh, people that buy toys now are not like us and don't play with them. <laughs> it's the more boost. about getting different poses and stuff. So I mean, for them, this is a Kickstarter exclusive figure. So like again, if you're jumping into the Kickstarter, th this would this one might be a no brainer right, to pick right. up if you're getting yeah. like a three pack or a six pack or nine or whatever. They offer a bunch of different um, amounts of figures you can get. You can either, like, and you know, the like, the three figures runs about a hundred nine dollars, which isn't. Yeah, it's that not bad. horrible. The yeah. one figure I think was thirty nine, so it's about forty dollars a figure. Man, that like cut my shoulder or something. What the heck? All right, anyways, <laughs> sorry. It's driving me nuts. My shirt's like constantly rubbing against it, like scratching. Just rubbing against like, it, yeah. How did yeah. I get a scratch there too? It's not like I'm running around shirtless in the woods or something. Like it's that. It's probably your children. Anyways, their little fingernails are yeah, like razor blades. That's probably exactly that. They're like gremlins, man. Yeah. So, uh, so this um, is one of an army builder, um, ooh. that they listed there. But it's again, I I like this blank kind of buck army builder that they've and they've got another one for the ice guy too you know so oh, there's like they? it seems oh, like the trans yeah. loose trans or translucent nice mm -hmm. uh i don't know man so i'm gonna get some savage crucibles in pretty soon so <laughs> do I they have a key master reasons. i don't think yeah. they have a key master <laughs> <laughs> are you the gatekeeper <laughs> uh so n before nice. we hit uh the stretch goals, so they didn't, again, they don't have images for every, at least that I could find, that for every single figure that you'll be able to choose from in that first initial burst of 15 figures. Yeah. Bush with a frisbee. That, that's an inside, my kid threw a plane to a thorn bush and he started bursting into tears. I'm like, well, I guess I'm going into the thorn bush. Now, I guess I'm so. going in to get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. So these so weapons all... packs are add-ons and stuff, like nice. uh, are, yeah. are things you can get in some some of the tiers of the Kickstarter. Lo and all then they melee, have packs as well. Oh, cool. Very cool. Oh, look at that exposed skull. Oh, that's awesome. Get some yeah, dark there's a couple dudes vibes with, here. with that kind of thing going on. Whoa. Yeah. Just the head alone would be awesome with those tendrils crawling around. Like, that'd be fantastic. Like a Brainiac version. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> that'd be so cool. I love that. <laughs> Just... Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Oh, no. The vent's open. <laughs> don't let him plug into the computer. <laughs> we don't know where that guy is now. Hello, wife. He can, he can we join. We wear hats during the news. Get with it. Red fr <laughs> we wear hats during the news. <laughs> All news. Why did it. that make me laugh? She looked at you like, what an idiot. <laughs> Pretty much. I knew the look she was giving you and she wasn't mm -hmm. even on camera. That's why I'm laughing. Yep. Um, and <laughs> idiots. <laughs> so this hey, is the. Aline, what's up, buddy? Yes. Hello, Aliam. This is a stretch goal number one here. There you go. Unlocks at 145, which again, they're. When I check the Kickstarter, let me uh, refresh it and just see where they're at. Because they're at. So I, they're I love high. the bright cyberpunk colors they went for this guy like the pinks mm -hmm. the past whatever it's called like pastels i guess uh really cool they could have gone like there's you know the rest are very dark very you know fortnite kind of brimish but this guy definitely well, i guess this is more fortnite with the with the popping colors so um very cool what's this not first oh first stretch oh dang he's first stretch goal he, so when they pass 145 but again i just refreshed the kickstarter it's got 37 days left they're already at eighty one thousand. it's like they're 
It's been up for like a few days, you know. <laughs> Speaking kind of, of scratchy shoulder. Oh, I love that one. See? And then, Steven, if you're driving right now, keep your eyes on the road, but uh, go back to this timestamp at 21, 24 seconds. Uh, this is the guy for you here. Uh, yeah, when Rodney does too much. Yeah, of- <laughs> <laughs> the rain. <laughs> He just needs a pacifier now. <laughs> That's uh, great. If he doesn't uh, so, light up under a black light now, I'm going to be upset. Oh no, I know, right? Like absolute glow. So the you know the red the picture though uh, makes him look very uh, stiff. Like it doesn't look like he's got imaginary lats in there. Like can't lower their his renders. Arms. Their renders uh, do look a little like. Like, yeah, like they blocking. have no articulation almost, you know what I mean? Yeah, but but on the left there, it, it looks like like his, I guess they're just showing the arms up to show like a spread there. Oh, yeah, they're very right. generic yeah, posed yeah. Yeah, in, yeah, these, yeah, so. uh, in these. No, that makes sense. This is another That's army calm. builder, but it's a stretch goal army builder. So he's also first stretch goal with along with uh, Quick Jack. <laughs> yeah, Kirby vibes. Yeah, 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 he's got a little Kirby vibes going yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little uh, new gods comes with fuzzy wall accessory <laughs> um so this is the other builder here so okay so you get a red yeah. guy blue guy and then you can buy the, the weapons head, pack the red head pack yeah. Yeah. okay yeah 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 man i love that indie companies are just like it's army builders got it this is what people want go you know what I mean? I, it is what people want man like yeah, wake up it toy is, companies yeah, yeah. i, I <laughs> like, still say I the love... best one that we've seen so far is savage crucible with being like here's a blank Here's a mm-hmm. very simple one, and here's two colors, and then go. Like I was like, man, that's genius, guys. So, mm-hmm. man, I can't wait to get those ones. These are these were is that the, is that? And then you've got the unlocks, right? Like yeah. The so there's one. more. There's a lot more unlocks. Um, mm. There's this guy. Ooh, so this is Skeletor. second goal. So 165. Yeah, very Skeletor vibes. Yeah. I've always loved the name the Pale King. That is so cool. Look at that freaking oh. staff, man! It's all over the place. Doesn't know if it's coming or going. Yeah, and I clearly uh messed up his name on this that's all right but yeah it's awesome the glowing staff i mean again it looks like the havoc staff in a it fanciful does. way and i like that uh, there's that uh missing jaw face there but mm-hmm. the blue instead of the red here and then you get the full skull so you could go skeletor so cool i think homage. that's a face mask a lot of them have face masks oh i see interesting yeah so that's a mask he wears over that that's his head sculpt. Oh, or, oh, cool. at least uh, i very... assume that's his only head I sculpt see. maybe I see. he has I a see. second yeah, one yeah, yeah i see yeah very cool yeah. Yeah, that guy's neat, um, man. This is oh, brick is tipping. Oh, that's three. It's time to me. This oh. is this, this is yet another uh Iron Man war machine suit. Oh uh, yes. Power Ranger Mecca. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's got there's a little common rider vibes going on in that. Yeah, I am vibe. not yeah, and for that I am not digging this. But that shoulder mounted missile pod is pretty cool. It's got a little gun to meanness going on in his legs. It's, yeah, too, a lot. yeah, yeah. I and uh I'm gonna pass on that guy, but still very cool, dude. Oh look at all that. Yeah. It's you know what it is? It's the Thundercats space girl. Uh it, it's got that vibe that oh, yeah, no, the bounty hunter chick with that. Oh yeah, I no, just, I know. I She's right over there. I can't, yeah, I can't do it, man. I that one's a little too cheesy. I man. only I, bought that because Violet. Oh, <laughs> I would never have bought that. I, one. The the uh, the pastel guy is is possibly my favorite, and then the pale king is pretty cool. A lot yeah, of people so are Aline, liking him. I do too, but I'm like, I, and maybe it's just because it's so different and weird, you know, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, makes yeah. him so interesting. But like, yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's unique. That is it's very cool. different. It's weird. Yeah, and that's yeah. and that's so. But that's what makes it. It's not the entire line like that. It's just the one, so it makes it jump out. Like, oh, you're unique. Mm-hmm. You're different. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. So, um. And then, hey, Alim, if I'm mispronouncing your name, by, by the way, let me know, because this guy is always commenting her stuff, uh, and I want to make sure I'm yeah. giving shout-outs the right way. So, Nexus looks like it'd be a good sentry bot oh, for, yeah, oh, yeah, there you go, guy. okay. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. uh, yeah, see, like a good, like, I don't know. Pass. Ro- replace that robot suit in the Castle of Grayskull, you know? Just- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this is still third, so this is, like, hmm. yet a, still on the third stretch goal, but, uh, yeah, he looks pretty cool. Again, it's, it's another ice guy. And with the glowing, or it looks apparently transparent forearms. Yeah. Arc with the cracking there, arm. like maybe he'd be yeah, a good yeah, one yeah, to have. Semi, for the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Mixed. For the translucent head sculpt nice. as well. Okay, good. Just want to make sure, buddy. Thanks. Um, yeah, that's okay, cool. cool. Uh, again, so like, it's funny they have a fire and ice theme going on here. And then Mech Warrior and, you know, like, oh, Moon Knight. Yes, the dart, the, the oh, yeah. uh, God <laughs> phrase too. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, hey, eyes on the road, Stephen. 
Um, um that's interesting i mean they so they do have kind of a fire ice thing going on but they've ooh. sprinkled in enough of the other stuff that it makes it yeah. a little more well-rounded plus again there there's 15 figures to choose from initially and we yeah, only, yeah, we yeah. only have that's like five of them or something like that pictures yeah. of them but plague uh doctor yeah play doctor yeah he does have that plague doctor yeah, mask yeah, yeah, going yeah, on yeah, that's cool yeah. yeah that's cool i've always been stuck for that um the guy's pretty neat yeah man i just so and here's the... reminds me of gore the god butcher with that uh with that face sculpt a little oh huh he just needs the uh tendril thingies this uh mm -hmm. fatty sack tendrils you know so here's what's splitting me on this line Those so I, I yeah so like, yeah there you go yeah, yeah so twilight you know joe and i joe and i don't discriminate we're, we're we like six inch we like four inch um mm -hmm. we like our shorties and our tallies so what splits me on this though is one money because good lord yet another yeah. toy line's coming out right um and then uh, where do i wedge these in so like right now cosmic legions obviously is just a breakaway hit for me and somebody said this in the comments too this is encouraging me to look at this line more because now i have Cos cosmic Legions. yeah because you have just... that branching yes, like, yes. Uh, and i'm like oh man area of figures that, and granted <laughs> cosmic legion as long as you're getting them from four horsemen store you're getting right. them for like 37 bucks a pop for right, like the smaller right. figures versus like the of course the larger figures are more but like these are already at 39 so they're i mean no. yeah that's only a couple bucks but comparable you know, no yeah but but the quality of a cosmic legion is way higher than what these appear to be so far i don't know. know yeah i mean that'd be hard to tell until you get them in hand but but like so these also me, seem like more playable like i wouldn't care if my kid dropped it on the ground versus a cosmic legion I'd be maybe like, no! yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of for, for me it's like it's it's what am i okay with a little more cartoony going with the cosmic legions who are very kind of flat you know what i mean or mm -hmm. like can i do i push some of these more fantastic ones in the mythic legions i don't know i haven't shown this to the boys yet like it was one quick pass like guys there's a new line coming out but we had to move on so i'm yeah. definitely gonna get these to the boys and be like what do you guys think where are these fitting in so hmm this uh, next I, one we won't look at for very long because there's nothing to see. But this oh, is but stretch goal four and five. So definitely these, are, these, these will be released. Great sci-fi there with Epsilon. Like that is very yeah. much sci-fi. Like the antenna, the rifle, and then this guy, Obsidious. Ooh. Yeah, he looks crazy. And based on this next figure, I maybe that's cloth goods that are like a weird tattered cloak oh, that's 100%. branching out. Who oh, knows? Yeah, yeah, but who knows if they're but look, it looks like there's a tentacle off to the right. Oh, I see. Well, that, I think that's his hand, right? Um, like is, so again, but does he have a tentacle arm? I have no oh, idea. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. You know I, kind of so, so for some reason, I imagine a Cthulhu face, too. I don't know why. Yeah, like, possibly. I instantly yeah. was just like uh, mind melt or mind flailer. I don't know why, but. Uh, yeah, but it, yeah. Uh, yeah, but it, se it seems like he is going to be similar to this guy, which is the stretch goal for six. And there you go. People, There's this is one that was like, yeah, you could have him on a on like on a string and he never comes down to fight. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, <laughs> like, yep, yep. Our God has come to destroy everyone. <laughs> Epsilon is his favorite by far. Just that black silhouette. That's all he needs. <laughs> that's all I need is that sniper Ooh, rifle. <laughs> that guy's cool. Obsidious looks as cool as I think he's gone. Then I'm done. I'm in. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the weapon looks like a scythe it, on the right, but we were talking about like the left hand kind of like, I don't know. Is it a hook scythe? Maybe it's a scythe hand too. Maybe he's got, uh, yeah, you're right. Like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. He's so like I mean, his right, right hand. hand. Looks yep. kind of like a tentacle, yeah. Or yeah. what could be his right hand? Super. I don't know. Potential. We'll see. We'll yep. see. Oh, looks very uh, Studio Z. They're going to be seven inch, um, and then looks very yeah, I'll throw back up. Yeah, yeah, six. Yep. So, uh, man, again, like if you got some imagination, you can definitely fit these in with your world building. Some of them, like this guy, probably not going to be walking around in your four inch collection, but that. Those last few in there, you want some sci-fi gods? Uh, those are the guys to go with. And the War Machine dudes, like those easily fit in. For me, I'm going to mm -hmm. blend these in with some Cosmic Legions. I'm not going, yeah. So that's why I see I got Lovecraftian too from that. I instantly yeah. like superimpose a Lovecraft into that. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I, I'm excited to see what else this comes in. I'm going to start shopping in here and looking around in it. I'm it's not just Ursula go... from The Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> there you go nailed it mystery solved you poor we got it wrong. unfortunate souls <laughs> oh man um, so show that show the the name again with the the yeah so it's so again it's called meta travelers is the whole the whole toy line or like and then legendary is this first initial burst of figures because uh, they the way they've yeah, discussed they it it seems like there's going to be 
a lot more world building going on and a lot yeah. different uh, of different areas within their universe that they're going to like and this is the next line and it could be straight fantasy but with a little with a space pistol or whatever you know like we, so it looks like that, they're kind of gonna yeah. do whatever they want yeah We've seen an ambition again from Savage Crucible, Armies of Ashmore. Mm. Like, hey, Armies of Ashmore is just one slice. Hey, the Savage <clears throat> Crucible Wizards, yeah. that's just one race. We've got all this other stuff. Too. Yeah. Like, yeah. They were hinting at, they were showing the prototypes or the, the concept drawings of like the crystals and all that stuff too. Demons. Like, yeah, it seems like if has, these lines yeah. go as for as long as they hope and plan to, then yep. we're going to start seeing a lot of variety. And a lot more ability to cross them over as well, you know, kind of thing. In my terms of, my like, kids will be streaming in 30 years from now. Remember, remember when Metaverse came out and like they just started with that wave one. Now we're on wave 30. Like that's what it'll mm -hmm. do. So it'll be great. So they um, have this cool. So they have a couple of other stretch goals. All right, go ahead. Oh, yeah, sorry. Go. I just saw the O-ring yeah. comment. And I was like, yeah. And that's and that's the thing. Like all these different lines. It's hard to spread your money and your budget that far. Um as far as the O-rings go, I think I'm throwing my hat in with Delta 17. I think that's my O-ring <clears throat> champ there. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I'm as much as I <laughs> love O-ring ninjas and stuff. <laughs> like, if I'm if I'm gonna break the O-ring seal and start getting O-rings again, it's gonna be the military guys, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And on um, that note, mostly just the Delta 17 figures, because uh, even with the Delta 17 line, the bad guys are more ninja style and Cobra Commander mm -hmm. crazy mm -hmm. and a little less like I'm just Extreme. like, yeah, there's a cool, but, you know, I'm going to stick with the guys in, you know, yeah, gear, military gear. Uh, the last well, thing is that they have these stretch goals at the end that are it's it's just a cool thing. I just wanted to mention it, but they yeah. are. It seems like they have some cool plans and it's just like augmented reality stuff you would look at with your phone. Oh, like that's you right. Yeah, a yeah, file yes, card yes. and stuff. So like it looks like this kind of thing and you can like mm -hmm. pull the figure up on your phone and it has a little file card and you can like learn about your figure like while you're and then I guess there's, there's another aspect of this line that we haven't really discussed is the customizable ability they can pop out and pop in with the ball joints so it's going to be kind of like i guess they're very origins, modular like very, origins yes. where you can pop the figures apart then switch yeah, yeah well well same thing with um mythic legions like you can completely disassemble yeah, those figures exactly too, so, yeah. yeah so there's also, some cool stuff that aren't isn't necessarily toy related that would be kind of cool to like I don't know. You could use your phone as a computer screen and your little command base for your figures and be like, and yeah, just literally be like, let's yeah. talk about this guy. He's a bad guy, you know, kind of thing. Or... Um, also, at the very early, early tiers for like three bucks, I think if you just uh, kickstart for three bucks, you get a comic book. So even if you're just like, ah, I just want to, you know, they already have a comic book too. So again, like, uh, that, I love I love how a lot of lines are doing that too. Delta 17 is doing that. Armies of Ashmore, are like AWOC. Yeah, they all have comic. all these. By the way, a lot of the lore is written by Andy Laning, um, who wrote like oh. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, oh, okay. like uh, back in the day, wrote some Legion of the Su Legions of Superheroes, which I uh, love. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, so, I mean, all like, right. You know. Um, yeah. So yeah, fifteen. It looks like it looks like the lowest tier for getting a figure is just one figure at thirty nine dollars, and then yeah. it's it jumps up from there. But they they have six figure seven or or it's seven plus an army builder. Sorry. Seven plus an army builder, you know, kind of thing. Eight plus eight, or eight total, twelve total, you know. So they've and then all in for five fifteen. So it's it ranges from mm. a pretty good variety. Yeah, but uh -huh. um, yeah. I, so I yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna fully back it, but I'll def I'll probably get a three pack. Yeah, you know, and just, I think so. at least I'll just be like dip, dip, my, dip my finger or dip my toes in this waters, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Joe, is that the news? Yeah, I think that's been uh, oh, that's been the nice. news for this week. I I like that news. It was good news. It was good news. It was good news.